Hey, hey, what's good, my fellow smokers? Welcome back to the smoke again. Yeah, we got a gig today. I got to put on uh, 18 racks of ribs for this evening. So when I got to go big, yeah, I got to go with the pit maker vote. So I got some raw oak, and we're going with splits today. Uh, I'm just gonna get those uh, lumped charcoal. I'm going with raw oak, get it nice, blazing hot, and we're going with some um, some hickory, hickory post oak. So I'll probably go through about maybe two of these. We'll see, uh, maybe three, but not too big. But if I do, I got more wood in my van. And so here are the ribs. It's about 18 racks of ribs and a whole bunch of rib tips that we're gonna put on there. We're gonna chop those up and make some go uh, some some sweet some sweet uh, rib tips. And then I get these nice and mahogany color. And uh, you know the cut they want them they want them sauce. I'll tell, I don't sauce my ribs, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna put my North Carolina sauce on there, probably some mustard-based sauce, uh, Carolina mustard-based sauce, and um, get these sauced up and put them in a pan and get ready to serve. All right, guys, hey, I gotta get these on. I gotta season them up. I'm only going with salt and pepper, and I got a little bit of garlic in here. That's all I'm using. Keep it, keep it simple. All right, guys, blessing to you, and let's get a hopping and popping. All right, guys, hey, how you doing? I got some ribs already on top, uh, just two racks. Uh, I know a friend of mine said, hey, man, how do you season your ribs? And I, guys, I keep it simple. A uh, little bit of water, no mustard whatsoever. I just keep it simple. But here we go, I got some, I, I'm gonna be using some, just a little bit of rib rub, just to give a, just a, a, a tangy taste to it. And, that, and that's it. All right, so I got, uh, just going with a little bit. I don't go too heavy. That's it on that. And then spread it around. Come in with my uh, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic. And I'll go really light because the, the salt content in here. And plus the ribs are really thin. You don't need a lot. That's it. See how thin it is? Man, let's go ahead and flip it over. And we're gonna do the same thing to the meat side. Just, just a tad. You don't need much, just enough so you can see it. Salt and pepper, keep it light. Nice, even coat. Guys, that's it. <laughs> Pat it down, don't rub. Take the ribs, we're going on top. We're gonna put four on each rack. So there you have it, see how light it is? Close up. That's all she wrote. And I'm telling you, can you keep it simple? Man, I'll tell you what, it tastes so good. So much better. All right, guys, I got a lot to do. A hey, blessings. And uh, I'll bring it back and edit all this stuff together so you can see it. All right, guys, hey, the ribs are on, smoking. Let's see, I got, uh, I already put my first post oak in there. So I got another post oak and I got some hickory. Let's check it out. So we got 15 racks of ribs and a whole bunch of rib tips. Let's pull this thing out, let's see. All right, keeping it simple. So I will be uh, rotating just the ribs. I'm gonna keep the rib tips on the bottom. I'm gonna get them a nice, good color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the rib tips in the pan. And then we're gonna go ahead and chop them up with my meat cleaver. All righty. Look how simple that is. So when you order ribs from me, you get everything. Man, you get your tips. Man, you get your skirt. Uh, and the little pieces that I cut off, you get everything. I ain't gonna cut you short. There we go, more rib tips. A little baby, a uh, little snack of ribs, almost kind of thin. And then uh, these are the little pieces that I don't like to have uh, on the end of the ribs. So I usually cut them off and because they don't have any bones and use those as rib tips too. Let's check out the firebox. Let's close this thing up. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna be done probably in about three, three and a half hours, because I'm gonna be running about 275. There you go. One split. This will be to pull it out without me burning myself. There we go. See that? So we're gonna run splits today over some hot bed of lump charcoal. 
275. All right, guys, hey, blessings to you. And uh, we'll bring you back in a few. All right, guys, hey, what's happening? Hey, welcome back. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the old pit maker right here. I think we're just about finished with this cook. We're not finished, I'm getting ready to wrap them up, yo. Let's see where we're at. 225. I just opened it. It was right at 250. So let's see what we got. Okay, it's been what we have three hours? Three, three and a half hours? Yeah. So I kind of slowed it down just a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up because I'm digging the color. Now I did do some uh, some rotation on this cook. All right. Top shelf, look at the bone already starting to come off. Oh, watch this. I got to get that one right there. That's good fat. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Bone starting to come off. You see it starting to break right there. Right there. Oh, we're good. Look at these bones. Woo, doggy. I tell you what, ain't nothing like this pit maker right here. When it comes to ribs, can't beat it. I got some of that juice right there. All we're gonna do is do that right there. That's it. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Look at them rib tips. And guess what? Them rib tips are going in that uh, foil pan right there. We're gonna get them nice and tender. And man, we're gonna chop them jokers up. All these right here make rib tips. Now, see, you can make rib tips out of the size, okay? And you can make rib tips out of the um, the ribs that come from the end right here. Because I don't like them. I don't like it to hang off. And plus, they don't have no bones in them. Uh, you know the ones I'm talking about on the ends of the ribs. Hey, cut them off. Make tips. Well, that's hot, too. Let me get my gloves. We'll pull this one out. <sighs> okay, this one got a little bit more time. Woo! And I'm digging that one right there. Let's check the bottom. Let's check the bottom. Oh, that looks good. Matter of fact, hold on a second, guys. Let me get my. There we go. Oh, trust me. Yep. We're going to say it's getting there. Let's flip these over and see what we got. Oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Bam. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're not done, but we're we about ready to get them soft. About ready to get them soft. Look at this. Did you look at this? Look at that bone. Came right off right there. Let's check it out. Uh, oh, yeah. Matter of fact, why I, got, why I got you here. Why I got you here. Let's go ahead and get this pan. Come here. Let's go ahead and take these off. Now we're about to get these nice. Look at that tip. Come on. Yes, sir. I don't need to go any darker than that. I want to get them tender. See that bone right there coming off? And all these little end bits that come off the rib. All those two. They get all of it. They, they just don't get the St. Louis style. This is the skirt. You know that little flap? Let me show you. That little flap that hangs off right there, I just cut that off. And that's what, where's it at? That's what that piece is right there. That's good eating. So all these right here, this is that little skirt that comes off the back of the rib right here. They get all that. Mm -hmm. Look at that tip. Oh, I almost fell, guys. I caught it. Mm, right there. Nothing else. I'm just going to add just a little bit of water. There you go. We're going to place some aluminum foil on top. 
get them nice and tender. Chop them up. I'm gonna put them back in the pan. Uh, add some sauce, but I'm not gonna put the pan back in there with the sauce on it. Mm -mm. I want my sauce to stay to stay thick, so it's a uh, it's a wet glaze or a wet sauce instead of a tacky. I don't like the tacky. Same thing with my ribs. Uh, I'm not gonna coat these with any kind of sauce. I don't know what a customer wants them, but I'm not gonna tack them up. I'm gonna cut it, my ribs, put them in the pan, and then throw my sauce on top, okay? All right, guys, hey, that's a wrap. We're gonna go, we gonna go ahead and wrap these up, because I'm digging it. Let's see what we got. Yeah. All right, blessings to you. And guess what? I'm gonna bring you guys back on my next cook. We're done.